Dome Sports Talk, worldwide, with some news from the world of boxing, so y'all know what time it is. You ain't in a rush to get concussed. Now, heavyweights, some other news has been going on for the last maybe, maybe two days, whatever, heavyweight division, right? Didn't mention it, you know, because I already know it's been, you know, it happened about a half a year ago, and that's legend. Vladimir Klitschko is rumored to be uh, thinking about coming back. People have offered him money, different entities, doesn't really matter where, but not a little bit of money, a lot of money, right, to come back and fight. Now, <clears throat> his promoter, Tom Loeffler, and K2 Promotions and all that, uh, you know, he says he would prefer him to come back and fight Deontay Wilder. That would be tremendous, right? And, uh, you know, about a half a year ago, he was rumored to come back and be wanting to fight Joshua. Well, Similar to Floyd Mayweather back when Floyd Mayweather was just about to quit. And I was complaining then. I was like, you know, listen, the rest of these welterweights, why don't they fight everybody so one can crystallize himself as worthy for Mayweather to come back and fight? That's why Mayweather had to get, stop fighting in the first place. Because everybody was fighting nobody. And I hate to call people nobody. But fighters that are not that relevant. And then they was after fighting, sometimes barely beating a guy like that, like Amir Khan. And then come out of that fight. And start talking about Floyd Mayweather. Call him out. And I keep telling people, you have to bust down the door. You don't back into a Floyd Mayweather fight. And I think Vladimir Klitschko should just basically come back if somebody becomes undisputed. Or the, the you know, the number one baddest dude. And everybody knows it. Maybe one belt's out there because something happened. But everybody knows who really the man is. Something like that. Right? But, uh, you know, what happened, he's been gone for a while and it still hasn't happened. So he come back, maybe fight Deontay Wilder or maybe fight Anthony Joshua. Who knows what happens, man? That's why you can't really follow all this news. And another thing, you hear Wilder's name when people are about to do something. But when it comes time, they don't hear him. Similar to Louis the Real King Kong Ortiz. People mention his name when they got a, a, a fight coming up and it's already sealed. Then they was like, yo, are you holding me, man? Make sure you hold me. You hold me? All right. Yeah, Ortiz, you the one. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. Lucky I got a fight. Oh, so I'm going to get you. It's always that way. Dylan White now, right? You know, waiting for WBC to give him a mandatory status. Could have fought Ortiz a long time ago. Now Eddie Hearn said, well, you know, if they give us the, the mandatory status, then we might fight Ortiz, Pavekin, Agit Kabayal, Manu Achar. Towards the end, those are the guys. Do you think uh, 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 Dominic uh, Dillian White is going to become the mandatory for the winner of Brazil Wilder and then fight Ortiz. No, but it sounds good right now, doesn't it? Just like before when he whispered, Ortiz didn't want to fight me in June. And then Ortiz said, well, let's fight in December and December the 22nd, either date, my date or your date. And then they went and fought Jazura, those kind of things. You know, they mentioned Ortiz, uh, Anthony Joshua, right? And, you know, after he, fought, after he signed for uh, Jarrell Miller, then he said, well, you know, my next fight, I'll go get uh, Ortiz next. Right. But not telling the people he already had the promise for Ortiz. You could have fought him instead of Jarrell Miller and instead of Dillian White for a fraction of the price. And he won't tell people that. That's the same thing. Ortiz. Well, Wilder, Vladimir Klitschko is not coming back. So you hear Wilder's name. I don't know. It's in, in vogue to say something about Wilder, though, because he's the most famous heavyweight right now. And you know, now it's like, you know, if you stateside, you're not saying Joshua. Sorry. Saying Wilder right now. But at the end of the day, I think... That Vladimir Klitschko, you know, his incentive to come back would be legacy and only. So, um, you know, this is not a guy who, you know, wasted his money or anything like that. It would be legacy. So he's got that record of 40, trying to get 45 years old and uh, become the uh, oldest heavyweight champion. But that, he would have to wait a couple of years to get that. I think he's only about 43 to get that from George Foreman. That would be incentive to come back, right? And another thing would be for Undisputed. Right. So let's see what happens going forward. I'm not really uh, too sold on the idea of Vladimir Klitschko coming back just to fight some anybody. You know, if it's Deontay Wilder or Joshua after they fought each other, I'd be all for it. But the only good thing about Vladimir Klitschko is this. You know, he's taking care of his body and he's 662, which means any fight with anybody, he's going to be in it if he's in any form at all. And I told you guys, I'm going to keep telling you. I know that if Vladimir Klitschko, well, he was probably irked with himself for not finishing off Anthony Joshua. He didn't hate the man enough. And I think that was that's my uh, that's my my tip, right? That's what I've been thinking for the longest. You know, he really thinks the world of Anthony Joshua at least then, 
and he's going to have that killer instinct to take him out of there when he should have. And that probably irks him when he's sitting somewhere probably having a drink or two. I keep saying it, but think about it. You're that close to doing that at that age, and if you didn't, and you're like, I had him. You know, I didn't just let my hands go. That irks a fighter, I'm pretty sure. It irks you in your job or in your hobby or if you're a, you know athlete or whatever you do, and you just, if I would have done this, and if you can get the chance to do it again, you're going to try to, and you're going to try to right those wrongs. I think that would probably be the only incentive for uh, uh, Vladimir Klitschko to come back. Let's see what's happening. They say uh, he's interested in Wilder, not him, but his, his team is that uh, that you know, they would rather him fight Deontay Wilder right now. They think that'd be tremendous. Let's see what's up. I'll let you guys know if anything gets confirmed. Don't sports talk worldwide, and I'm out of here, y'all.